Update 1 on Cyclone Phelan, which is currently located in the Indian Ocean in the Bay of Bengal, currently with wind speeds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 948 millibars. That makes it a Category 3 cyclone, uh, intensifying rather rapidly at the moment. A position of 15.4 degrees north, 90.3 degrees east, expected to move towards the northwest, intensifying further, possibly reaching Category 5 intensity, and that's no joke in the next 36 hours. Now uh, we could see a Category 5 storm, certainly a Category 4 by the looks of things at the moment. Certainly not good news for the coast of India right now, in particular the states of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha right now, uh, where a storm may strike as a Category 3 storm, a high-end Cat 3 at that. That's what's currently on the forecast as the storm moves towards the northwest and then eventually dissipating inland over the next few days. So let's take a look at the current sea surface temperatures. You can see how they're fairly warm at the moment and getting warmer as the storm moves towards the northwest a little bit. Uh, temperatures certainly good enough for tropical cyclone development around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, certainly good enough for some sustained strengthening as time goes on. So let's take a look at the models. You can see uh, the current storm failing just on the uh, far left of the screen there. You can see how it for, uh, continues to intensify as it moves towards the northwest. Uh, the CMC first of all, you can see how it makes landfall a little bit further north of what the for official forecast is saying at the moment. Uh, so that may turn out to be interesting. The GFS model, uh, let's see what that one's saying. Move towards the northwest a little bit further south than the CMC for the landfall location. Looks like a Disha um, state of India um, where the landfall location will be according to those two models. That the moment could be a little bit further south that's what the official forecast is currently calling for but either way it's certainly going to be a very intense storm when it does make landfall this is a satellite imagery you can see it's quite a large storm uh, certainly got a nice eye popping out there over the past few hours you can see how it's been moving towards the northwest shrinking a little bit as well that eye as well um, as the storm moves towards the northwest you can see right now spiral bands associated with the storm possibly extending as far as Burma and Bangladesh at the moment in the uh, Bay of Bengal there but the storm center at the moment is still closer the, to the Andaman Islands of India uh, than the Indian coastline itself so the storm's still out at sea at the moment but as it draws closer preparations should obviously be in effect right now now um, we could be seeing some heavy rainfall and indeed some extremely strong winds especially along the coast of eastern India there um, gusting possibly to category 4 or 5 intensity certainly we'll have to see about um, how the storm um, performs over the next few days. So let's take a look at the world tropics then. You can see a number of systems out there. Tropical depression NADA has just turned post-tropical in the past hour or so. Invest 94E currently um, has a high chance of development in the eastern Pacific. Uh, 98L as well also has a chance of development. Failing of course a category 3 storm um, in the Indian Ocean and we, uh, we have the two um, storms in the western Pacific as well. But there's failing there in the Indian Ocean. The only system out there at the moment in the northern section of the Indian Ocean. The southern hemisphere also looking quiet right now but um, I think this is enough to keep us occupied at least for the next few days it's certainly a threat to land now it's the second tropical storm of the 2013 uh, cyclone season in the North Indian Ocean uh, the first storm to reach hurricane intensity of 74 miles per hour and also the first one to become what would be equivalent to a major hurricane 111 miles per hour or higher so that's 211 there which is the 25th busiest on record but that's the lowest at the moment um, since reliable records began in the Indian Ocean you can track this storm and indeed any other storms out there at the website at force13.com forward slash storm tracking .html. that's the main page for it there you're presented with the tracking map which shows all the storms out there at the moment including invest and post-tropical storms with tables at the top and bottom showing their intensities and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect we'll probably be seeing some warnings in effect for India very soon if not already as a matter of fact but certainly uh, looks like a severe storm landfall is on the cards for the coast of India certainly going to be um, a rather serious situation possibly the strongest storm to make landfall in that part of the world for quite a few years you can also find us elsewhere on the web Facebook and Twitter to search Force 13 on either of those mediums you just find us fairly easily enough and uh, please do as always show your support by doing the usual means of engagement liking subscribing commenting favoriting or following or anything else that you may think of and if you have any questions or comments about this storm or indeed any others out there or anything storm related just send in a comment um, under the YouTube video or by private message if you so wish and I'll get back to you um, if I see fit um, the next update on this storm will probably follow uh, at the same time tomorrow about 3pm UTC on Friday the 11th of October but until then that's all for now stay safe out there